Welcome back to another Advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're gonna do the sunburst effect. So if you want to know how to do that, there are two ways. The left one I will show you because this is my way and the other one, link in the description below. This is just based on triangles, mine is based on sprites because I like more control. But this thing is of course legit as well and well if you want to know how to do that thing completely i will show you so stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i upload every day a video and share my stuff if you can because this is how my channel grows in these times so let's get right into the good stuff basically what you're just seeing here in front of you is on the right side let's go for the right side this is easier basically just triangles and the yellow ones are triangles and the red ones as well so basically this is the approach of just drawing triangles and this is it and then of course you're pretty much limited because you cannot have some you cannot have some what you're seeing here basically some extra fading out of those uh well triangles here this is limited to that it still looks very neat so link in the description if you want to know that but here my thing consists of a few things no 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 no, no. and for example i need two sprites i will explain what they do basically the cone which is just here white and then going into a fade out and then as well a circle and both things we're gonna do with some speed which you're gonna see here so basically the quick way how to do a triangle let's go and take this one out is to do some very cheap tricks and let's go and combine here this point and uh, this point this point and back again hello then just fill it up and of course if you want to have a non-transparent then we're pretty much pretty much done if no then you have a well a mask here and with that mask we can do some let's drag it let's say up to this point and bam we got our cone make it gray because this is important for the color blending and export it as a png sweet and easy and the other thing is well almost the same make something like this go for a gradient then look for the middle which is eh okay it doesn't really matter somewhere here then go for radial with the gradient and here yeah, this won't be very accurate but you have to put it in the middle spot and bam export it as a png of course the background and then we are pretty much done here nice and easy so let's go into our object and check out what we need to do here let's delete all that stuff so first of all just a few variables of course you don't need to put them into your create event this is just for me um, so I have more control so every time I want to change something I change it here not manually in the draw event here we have a rotation variable in the step event we just update it to let's say 0.3 all the time so it rotates um, of course you can change uh, the speed the way you like it doesn't really matter so and the other ones are what kind of color overlay you want to have of course the sunburst looks best with some light colors like orange or yellow and then therefore i just use it this one then the size i have to reduce because our image xl needs to be a little bit smaller so for example if i put it into the room the our my cone it's a little bit big that's why i make it smaller and then the alpha because i want to have some control so what are we doing here first of all we just draw our sprite which is our cone come on go away you as well because you don't need it and there i just draw the cone 
there with the rotation and for example if you do it now it will already work so for example i just draw the cone with the x and y position where i put my object then the size and yay one is there but of course i don't want to have one cone of course you can do that if you want or for example one on the other side so you have like some search lights or some panic rooms you see that but we want to do some little trick and for that we just go into a for loop and say well i want to have 10 pieces so a full circle is 36 divided by 10 is 36 so as you can see bam i just go for well the image angle so this is basically the whole image angle and it starts with zero then plus the rotation which is just rotating all the time so adding up and then plus each piece and basically just 10 pieces every time 36 uh, degrees more and then with a color overlay of which was it orange and some alpha of 0.4 yeah so this is how it works and for example once we start it bam it works as well and you already see almost the end product for example if you're happy to this point you don't need more well we are finished here but let's go and make some extra tweaks because why not and what i do i say first of all we go into the god mode which is blend mode i love it and you go gp yeah gpu set blend mode add and this already looks nicer because it blends really really better with the background and you create yeah this is definitely a little bit softer to the eye so this is pretty sweet and then i do something uh, again which i put in this blend mode which is our light circle then give it a yellow overlay and let's say 0.5 yeah why not and here what you will see is just basically uh, the light circle being drawn uh, below those things and then it creates a nice gradient at the background so it looks smoother from the inside it's not so hard in the center which is pretty pretty sweet so this is cool and then because i want to have some extra extra effect and here i just draw a white nothingness so basically this is just a sprite which is white I center it at the bottom and then well I give it a 0.2 and then for example I have a background extra overlay of an orange color then a smooth gradient which is radial and then those triangles and then the effect is very pleasant to the eye and just so you know um, this thing needs to be centered bottom center which is this point so not in the center because then it would rotate and would well look didn't look too good what can we do here else well we can go and do something like this and this would just mean that those spaces which were empty before are filled with the cone but here you will see yeah a little effect which is not too good <laughs> You have overlapping and let's go with c red so you actually see that better basically um what is happening now i'm filling out those those spaces but they kind of overlap at some points and therefore the sprite is not well 100 let's say um, divided by 10 and then, then this will look smooth so there you have to well kind of and do better job than me but that was basically it have a good one bye bye